Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here with Furniture Flip by Sarah and in today's video I'm going to be working on this piece here. So I am participating in the Ugly Duckling Challenge. I will link the other YouTubers who are participating in this challenge and who are hosting it so you can go ahead and check those out. But I'm going to get started and work on this piece. I actually found it in the dump ready to be mashed up into a million pieces. So I'm saving this piece and I'm going to give it a completely new look. And this is my Ugly Duckling Challenge piece. Here is the before of the piece. I actually found this in the trash, ready to be smashed up into a million pieces. So I am saving this piece. I am gonna be painting the inside as well as the outside, just because it has that like faux antique look, which I think just kind of looks dirty. So I'm gonna need to clean this up and really make it pretty, but I just wanted to share the before with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the hardware. It's pretty rusty and old, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out. Now that I got all the doors off and hinges off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this detail from the piece. I think by removing it, it's just gonna modernize this piece a bit. I'm still gonna keep that detail that's on the door, but I am just gonna go ahead and remove these. To remove that, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the back of my hammer. These are just a plastic mold, I believe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get those off. To remove this, I'm not sure what this tool is called, but I think this is gonna help just to help get underneath this mold and pop it off. See in this clip here, I was really struggling to get these molds off. These were super heavy duty and actually really heavy. I did call in some backup. I got Mr. Furniture Flip to come in and help me finish removing these. I'm so happy we did because I think it's gonna look so good with the overall new design. So now that we got all those detailed pieces off, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this piece before I go ahead and wood fill all the, the little holes from the detail and where the old magnets used to be. Clean it, I'm just using some TSP degreaser just to really get any of that dirt and grime and grease off of this piece and that way it doesn't get onto my sander. So to fill in any holes or any areas where these moldings were, I'm just going to go ahead and use this Elmer's Pro Bond Max wood filler and a spackle knife. And I'm just, so I'm just going to fill in everything and once it dries, I'm going to bring it out to the garage and start sanding. super cold today it's like extreme cold morning here 
So I'm gonna try to get this done super quick. I have my RZ mask on, I got winter gloves, winter jacket, my bun hat, and I'm gonna get this sanded. I am gonna be using my Dewalt sander, and if I need to, I'll be using my surf prep sander, and I'm gonna use 120 grit to really scuff this piece up and get it ready for primer. Now that this piece is all sanded down, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a really good clean. My spray bottle is broken, so I'm just pouring it onto my cloth, and then I'm gonna make sure I scrub down everything. And I'm just using a microfiber cloth. Now I'm going to go ahead and prime this piece. To do that, I am using the Binzer, the Binzer, the Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer. You want to make sure it has that shellac in it because that's what's going to cover any stains. If I was painting over wood, it would cover the knots and make sure you don't have any bleed through. To apply the primer, I'm just going to go ahead and use a little brush from the dollar store and then a microfiber roller. I'm going to start by brushing any areas that the roller can't get to and then go ahead and roll all the flat surfaces. dried I'm going to go ahead and use the sanding block to just sand everything down and Now time to clean again. To paint this piece, I'm going to go ahead and use the Benjamin Moore Advanced line. This is in their pearl finish. I have one of these 
um, easy opening lids on here that I purchased from my Benjamin Moore as well. And I'm going to be using the color Onyx. I find Onyx to be a super true black and I'm feeling something dramatic for this piece but also simple so I feel like by going with a more bold dramatic color um, like black I will be able to add some gold hardware on there and make this piece really pop. To apply my paint I'm going to go ahead and use a zipper brush. This is one of their two inch brushes and then I have a microfiber roller as well. Again I'm just going to brush the areas that the roller can't get to and then go over everything with my roller. That's going to give me that super smooth factory finish look. And I love using the microfiber rollers with this paint. And I've just lined my tray with some tin foil. I find this to work a lot better than having to rinse out plastic liners or keep purchasing them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into these little uh, holes here. I believe they're the screw holes when they built this piece, but I just wanna cover them up so that you don't see them. Time for coat number two. Time for coat number three. Now I just need to go ahead and let these doors dry so I can flip them over and do three coats on the other side.
I went ahead and sprayed the hinges first with this shellac base primer just to give the spray paint a good base coat to adhere to. To spray the hinges, I'm just gonna go with a classic black. This is the Oil Rubbed Bronze by Rust-Oleum. Let's go to the garage and... I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry, flip them over, and do the other side. So now that the spray paint has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat it in this satin clear finish. Again, I'm just gonna do one coat on this side, flip them over, and do the other side. This is just gonna prevent the hinges from scratching and the spray paint coming off. So now that the hinges are done, I'm just going to go ahead and put them all on and then I can get the doors up. These hinges were actually pretty intense. I've never really seen hinges quite just like this. So they had your regular three screws that screw in to the piece, but then they are kind of on like an L bracket and you have about five screws, I believe, that screw into the door. Maybe it is because of the shape of the door and the angles. They needed to make sure that these hinges would be able to support that. Now that all the hinges are on, it's time to put the doors back on. This task is definitely my least favorite. I hate replacing or putting back on doors because hinges are set to a specific way for the door to open and close and these pieces most likely were built a long time ago when you're furniture flipping. It's definitely a pain. So after a little bit of playing around, I was able to get the doors to all go back on properly without scratching the bottom. And then I went ahead and added some new metal clips. These were about three or four dollars from my local home hardware store. And you'll see that in a couple clips. So now that the doors are on, I can go ahead and do any touch ups before putting on the new hardware. Before I went ahead into the touch-ups to this cabinet, I noticed that these two um, knob holes were at different heights for some reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a new one right here and then fill that up. done figuring out my knob hole situation I went ahead and just added these little magnets that I mentioned earlier they're gonna help my doors stay closed so once you close it the magnet hits the top part and stays shut so I ended up adding these little knobs on here from Amazon I will link them down below for you guys sorry that clip is a little blurry but now I am gonna cut to the outro and share the reveal with you guys now it's time to share the final reveal with you guys of my Ugly Duckling challenge piece.
watching today's video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already i will leave the playlist down below for all the other youtubers who participated in this challenge and i will see you guys next week with another furniture flipping video